you know, I was at a movie at the old Fox Theater on Airport Boulevard. So with the soundtrack going, you couldn't hear the rain. You just, you know, thought it was any other night in Austin, beautiful, you know, May night. And uh, when we walked out, though, people were standing at the doors just flabbergasted by how much rain was coming down, water was coming inside the theater. So I immediately got in my car and knew I had to drive to straight music because we'd had smaller issues, you know, with rain, floods before, but nothing, I mean, six inches or so. And got in the car, started down Airport Boulevard, and actually ran into like a wall of water going across the airport at some place about two or three feet deep and it stalled my car out. So I pulled into, the, there was a Safeway parking lot, pulled in there, the car finally dried out, got it started, and I knew that I had to get to straight music because it was just raining cats and dogs. And went down, tried to cross at 10th Lamar, there's a little bridge there right behind that 7-Eleven, and the water was already going over the railing. And there were cars coming down Shoal Creek, and they'd hit that bridge, and they'd force them. They'd finally force under, and then they'd pop up on the other side and keep on going. So I drove back to the 15th Street overpass and went across that way and was able to come down the back of our store around Baylor. And our warehouse was about 10 feet higher, and I was able to stand on that loading dock and look down to the main building, and the water was, you couldn't see the back door. I mean, it was just gone. I knew the water had to be eight or nine feet deep at that time. I called my parents and said, man, y'all need to get down here. It's bad. And so we just, you know, at that time you're just, you can't do anything except pray it doesn't get any higher and get in the warehouse where we had the rest of our equipment. So, you know, it was just, it was devastating.